From weather to crime and everything in between, KTAB's website, BigCountryHomePage.com, keeps you in the loop. BCH's Carly Cross is in the studio. Carly, do you know what stories have been catching our audience's attention this most this week? Hey, well, yes, Bob, crime and weather led the clicks this week. This is actually just the second time a weather article has made the top five. Keep watching for this week's Big Country Beat. Starting low with number five after tech stock crews came by to clean up a known homeless encampment along South First Street. A nearby business owner says it's just going to come back. He even says he has his employees clean all the debris, too. It's bad. I mean, I have to send my employee come out and keep cleaning it. Something that we don't even do it, but we have to clean it to keep our place look nice and clean. For number four, have you ever wondered what use those traffic light cameras have? Interestingly enough, some of them are no longer for catching drivers running red lights. Instead, Abilene police say they're going to be used to help police with all sorts of investigations, including those who drive off from crime scenes. Coming in at number three, a driver in a semi-truck, 43-year-old Alberto Salazar, was killed after hitting a cow in Eastland County early Monday morning. Texas DPS says it was right around 3 a.m. on US 183 when he hit a black cow, causing the truck and trailer to overturn. Next up, Abilene police are investigating the death of a 67-year-old man after his body was found in North Abilene in an alleyway. This man's identity and autopsy results have yet to be made available. And coming in at number one on web, weather. Who would have thunk it? BCH meteorologist Darius Stringer does these routine dives into far ish off future weather predictions. And with the turn of the season from summer to fall, winter will be here before you know it. Now, with more than 75 interactions on our Facebook posts of this article, it's clear most West Texans, like myself, aren't too fond of the cold. But we still have some ways to go. All right, well, that is all I've got for this week's Big Country B. I'm going to send it back out to Bob. All right, thank you, Carly. Hotem, I noticed that on one of the messages. Pretty cool, so to speak. Today's top story on web is going to be the construction of Brahms in North Abilene. All those stories can be found, along with a lot of others, at the KTAB website, bigcountryhomepage.com.